What's going on guys? My name is Jericho and as always this is Coast Corner. If this is your first time watching, this is a channel all about reselling. We go garage selling, we go to estate sales. We haven't done anything retail yet, but we also do thrift stores. All right guys, so we had a good week of sales. It is Friday, we're gonna go garage selling tomorrow. I think we had seven or eight sales this week. They were all small hitters, so not a lot of profit, but it really did get picked up from how it's been all summer long. The first thing we sold was a four pack of Green Bay Packers polos. I got these on a 50% off day at Goodwill a long time ago when I first started reselling. I paid $10 into it. I sold for $29.88 free shipping. So of course with the weight, shipping costs about $12. So in the long run, we, we made about eight. The next thing that sold here was a 2007 Oregon State Beavers World Series of Baseball Championship hat. I also found this at Goodwill for about three bucks and it sold for $12 plus shipping. All right, the next thing that sold was this PS2 Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Greatest Hits game. This one I bought in a lot with one of those PS2 consoles and this one sold for $12.95 free shipping or sorry, $9.95 free shipping. And on all of our video games, we do free shipping. So it's always gonna cost about $3.50 to $4, depending on how big the manual is, might change the weight up a little bit. So we don't make a lot of money on these, but we're about a dollar to two into them. So we make three or four bucks a pop on these. All right, now this, you've seen us sell this once before. I did talk about this in the last video. This is that Beachbody T25 workout DVD set. Last time I paid $5 and sold it for 15 plus shipping. This time I saw, I marked it for the same price. Somebody sent me an offer of $12. Since we only paid $1 for this one, I didn't really feel like waiting because it was a slow week at this point in time. So I did accept an offer of $12 plus shipping. So we did still make about $9, $10 on it. The next thing I sold is actually overnight. You can see here it's for the PS4, it's Ghostbusters. So this one I had for $14.95 free shipping. Now the funny thing about this is someone had just sent me an offer for $10 and it hadn't been listed for very long and it had a couple watchers so I definitely did not accept 10. I sent them my counter offer of 14. You know, I was willing to give them a buck off to get the quick sale and they countered back to 12 and I ignored it. Went to bed and I woke up and somebody else paid full price for it. So this is just a word of advice. When it's slow, definitely accept some offers. But if you've just listed something, just don't take the first offer you get because you don't give it a chance to get sold for full price, the asking price. So I do accept offers all the time, but not on something that just got listed. All right, the next thing that sold was also from that bundle. This is The Godfather 2 on Xbox 360. This is another game I sold for $14.95 free shipping. So after shipping charges and fees for both of these games at $14.95, we're making 10 bucks each. And remember I paid $20 for that whole box. So now every game we sell after this is gonna be all profit. All right, the next thing that sold, it was actually one of the bins. I bought these uh, GI Joes, they're sealed. I bought probably four or five of them at five bucks a pop, even before we even started filming the channel, so there's no record of it anywhere that I can show you guys. It's not in any previous episodes. But I, I didn't look them up at the time. They were just offering five bucks for each, and there was some nostalgia for me. Back in 2002, I was 12 years old, so you do the math of how old I am now. And I used to play the crap out of these. And so my dad used to always buy them. He used to buy them for himself too, for his collection. And they got lost along the way. So I knew that they would have some value. Pretty much anything older G.I. Joe is gonna have some value. And this one ended up selling for, and this one sold for $14.95 plus shipping. So after fees, we're making about $12.5 on this item. Uh, depending on the weight, we should be able to make a maybe 50 cents or so off the shipping as well, depending on how light we can get this. But this one, there's another one of just a bulk buy I did a while back ago. That's the very last one, so we're out of G.I. Joe's. I am happy to get that done, but I'd have to say this was a pretty good week of sales. Like I said, I think we came up with six or seven of them. Put it in the comments below because I already lost count. But that's probably the most sales we've had in a week in a long time. And there's actually one sale that I didn't actually sell on eBay. It was actually a Facebook Marketplace sale. Let me see if I can find it and I'll show the image here. But when I first started reselling, I bought a bulk box of Sega Genesis games. I thought they'd be worth a lot of money. When I got home, I realized they were all sports games, which did not have a lot of value in there. I sold all the loose ones on eBay for $20 in an auction, uh, plus shipping. So we were in the hole still about 30 bucks. All the ones that were in the cases, I actually just put them on the marketplace for 75. Somebody sent me an offer yesterday for $50. That's what I originally paid. So we didn't really make a lot of money on this, but we essentially got $50 back into our pockets that was being locked up by these games. So that's another thing that sold this week. And because it wasn't on eBay, there's no additional fees or anything. So we've made exactly $50 on that, which is actually gonna help us 
with our bankroll tomorrow at garage sales. Yeah, that's what sold this week. Like I said, again, not to, not to sound like a broken record, this is probably the best week of sales we've had. I wish there was bigger ticket items, but all in all, we probably have close to $100 in profits this week, which we're gonna carry over into putting away some for tax, and the rest we're just gonna keep in the business so we can keep buying more inventory. I'm slowing down on as much as I buy, trying not to be as aggressive, because as y'all have seen in the last couple of videos, we have been spending almost $200 a weekend, and I'm not getting it all listed. I am still selling a lot, so let's keep it going. Hey everybody, good morning, it's Saturday. It's a late start to the morning, it's about 8.30. We're pumping gas. We had a small bankroll this week, uh, sales have been slow. Uh, we did get probably about seven or eight sales, but they were just smaller ticket items, so it didn't really contribute much to the bankroll. This week we got about $80 to play with, so I figured I would sleep in. We don't have to be the early birds, because then we'd be done super early. We're heading north about 40, 50 miles to this estate sale. There's a lot of garage sales coming up the highway. So I figured I was gonna drive as far as I could and just kind of drive back and just see what we can find. I'm not in a rush to find a lot just because we keep finding so many good things. I'm still trying to list it all. Right now our store is about 160, 175. Uh, and that's actual listings. We have a lot of multi-list items. So we're actually closer to 200 total items. So again, I'm not in a rush. Our death pile is still 300 strong. So we have a lot to work through. So a short day today, garage selling will just give us an even better chance to catch up. Uh, the really the goal is once we once we get rid of that death pile, we'll be able to start being more aggressive. We'll go to a lot more thrift stores as well, so you guys can start seeing that part of reselling a little bit more. Gas just finished pumping. I'm gonna put you guys back on my shoulder and let's head out to these sales. Take it out, man. Take it out of the case. Play with it. <laughs> I, I would make your ears bleed if I played it. You can always make me an offer, okay? Oh, okay. You can always make me an offer. How's your day, man? Pretty well. How y'all doing today? Y'all just getting started? Just got started. It's supposed to rain? Really? I hope not. I'm, oh, I'm done with the rain. Not this <laughs> Did you see the U.S. plays last night? I didn't get to see them play, but I saw they won the gold. They won, man. Hey, it was, it was a tough one. They had everyone scared in the, in the... It was a tough one. First quarter, second quarter didn't look too good. But I'm glad they got it. Oh, yeah. Cool. Thank y'all very much. You guys have a good one. Good morning.
Doing pretty well. How much yeah. are you guys asking on the bet bag? Honestly, it's just whatever you want to offer. Um, it got some use out of it, and now we're just moving it along. Moving it along. So, and you know, if you want the balls with it. Mm. Let me see. Let's see what's. In. I don't really need the the balls. They're tea okay. balls, but just really the bag. I'm I'm grabbing this. Uh -huh. Would you do five for this in the bag? Sure. Cool. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> do you need a helmet at all? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> A little, a little too small for my head. Yeah, my son was like, okay, I think I'm done, which it took him. Oh, you want the balls? Oh, no, I was just okay. picking them up for you. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, he, he kind of just didn't play in high school, and, you know, after a while, he's like, I think I'm done hanging on to it. Just fell <laughs> off. <laughs> it is a wheeling bag. Did you want to put that in here? Or? Uh, no, it's kind of loose. Yeah, I'll okay. just hold it. And then, of course, there is the bag. Perfect. All right. Cool. Do you uh, want some muffins or breakfast tacos? Uh, no, thank you. Okay. I appreciate it. Right, sure. You have a uh, GoPro? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and um, you said so this one is into five. five? Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Oh, cool. 20. Beginning of 20. Cool, perfect. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you for coming out today. Thank you. I was actually heading to another garage sale and I saw your sign, so I was oh, like, oh, well, okay. let, me, let me run in here well, real we quick. I appreciate that. <laughs> well, thank you all so much. Sure, have a great day. Yes, ma'am. All the DVDs are a dollar. Back here in the back, I've got comics, records, uh, video games, lots of stuff like that. <laughs> I had two, and I sold the whole night to somebody yesterday. And then, so, yeah, you're welcome. I just that. Do we have another one in there? You know, I'm, I'm out of the card business. <laughs> out of the card business. Out of that kind of card business. I just don't. I don't do it well. I don't know how to make anybody off of it. So I came to one of your sales. Okay. What now? So I came to one of your sales like back in April, uh -huh. and then I forgot to drop a pin, and I've been looking for you guys ever since then, oh. and I just so happened to drive through. So yeah, we're normally in the backyard. Yes, I didn't recognize it at first until I, I got know. back here. Oh, that is her. This is like a third of what we normally have out, but. <laughs> Making do. In the backyard, when we set up, we can set up in a week. You know, we do a little bit. Oh, we yeah. Bit, so we can set up that much stuff. This we had to do in two hours. So we uh, go get in. Like crazy? Yeah. I had, <laughs> I had a whole bunch of the older you know, Nintendo. Oh, really? Yeah. 
Dang, I wish I could have come. Yep, I work Fridays too. Do you play games? Yeah. Older, usually the older stuff, but. Thank you very much. You want a more bag put in? Yeah, I've been collecting for about 20 years now. Oh, what a few some good ones. I tell you what's selling the best right now are the N64 games. Yep. That's what yep. everybody wants. The thing is, I have them all, so. Yeah. <laughs> but when I do find them, I pick them up because I go trade them in for stuff I do need at the. I sold. Yeah, that's probably my main collection. I recently moved into our house and I went to go pick up my GameCube stuff from mm -hmm. my parents' house and it was all gone. I that's had like the, the one taped up controlled GameCube is through the roof, so but I don't even have the cords for it or anything right now. So I've been going out hunting, looking for, for all of it. So I don't, they do, but they have everything like they have their stuff over even over ebay prices so yeah. i it's a good place like i do what you do all the games i don't need i'll trade them in and then yeah. save up for the a game i do need yeah, just hold them. I, I had a tote you know 50 gallon, one of those clear totes like that full of cables that i just pick up i finally just got tired of sitting on us old kid that's like 20 bucks for the whole tote. yep uh, the controllers <laughs> cables all of it was you know i mean cables I probably got way more, but I just got tired. Just bulk it out. You gotta find the right person that needs, and that it's hard sometimes to sell kids. Yeah. Find that, that right person. Yeah. That. But yeah, if you ever decide to sell all your games. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, eBay's the way I'm actually kind of stuff. It's put this way I, I inventory my stuff on price charting. And I just crossed over the $100,000 threshold. Dang, that's awesome. <laughs> I need to do that. I just, I've just i been avoiding price charting just because I'm too lazy to do the work. It, it is a bit of work. <laughs> I, I, just, I just did my Amiibos and my, I'm dreading doing my Skylanders on there because they just added a Skylanders section. Oh, so. nice. Are you getting your stuff graded? I was thinking about it. That's really blowing up right now is the grading aspect. The Comic Con next weekend. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to have oh, one of the grading companies there. Where are they really? Comic Con? Huh? Where are they going to have one? Really? Yeah, so they're going to have one. Is it going to be Wada or BGS? I don't know. Comic Con is BGS. That might be your best bet. Yeah, though. BGS is That might be your best bet, though, because usually those you drop them off the first day and they'll have them done by the end of the, the con. That's what I was hoping. The con. I don't know if they'd be doing all the spot ones or not. I need to. I need to. Uh, <laughs> Oh yeah, that's the money. Hundreds of thousands of dollars for some. Was it Mario 64 that just sold for like 150000 Was it? Maybe I'm behind. Maybe I'm behind. Yeah. Maybe that's the one that sold for like 150 and then Mario came in and... Yeah. You gotta have the game, right? Yeah. Like, I don't have anything like that sealed. I think my best sealed game is probably a, a Silent Hill or Shadow Dimensions. Maybe. I don't know. I got something sealed. That's the good thing. If you, get a, if you get it graded by WADA, uh, WADA has a partnership with the auction. So if as soon as it gets graded, they can put it into the auction for you so that you never have to get it back and do all the auction yourself. They have that partnership. So what it will directly auction them off for you if you want them to. So that's the benefit. And what are the ones that are selling for that that Mario game was graded by what So it'll go it can go straight to auction, you don't have to deal with any of it, and then you just you get paid and retire. Yeah, I teeter. I teeter daily. Yeah. I'm just gonna start selling off the collection or not, because neither my kids. I thought maybe they'd pick it up and keep running with it. Yeah. I try not to have too much sentimental value, so I'm like you, like PlayStation 2s, you find at like, garage sales all the time in Wii's, so a lot of those I'll buy them strictly just to sell them, just so I can get more money to yeah. go out and buy what I want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still sitting. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, that's outside, you know, so I need to look and see if they jumped, because everything's jumped up. Oh, yeah. Everything's spiked around. Probably this year, as long as the pandemic's still going and people are doing less activities, all the collecting stuff will be spiked. I think once everything goes back to normal and people are actually spending their money on doing stuff, then I think the market will come back down that's a little bit. Yeah. Value that's not already been looked up and marked up. Like, yep. At least a yard sale you could maybe haggle with somebody a little bit, but. Yeah, I sometimes I find good deals from her, but she does eBay too, so I know that I know if it's out here, yeah. it's not gonna be the it's greatest good. thing, yeah. Yeah. But just more stuff like personal stuff you want for yourself. Yeah, because there's all, I mean, there's a lot of sports titles and stuff that I'm looking to still need to finish my because I'm trying to complete collections, not you know. Okay. You know, I've got so, like I completed my Nintendo 64 collection. Still need about 80 games for my NES and my Super NES collections, mm -hmm. but they're all those freaking two, three hundred dollar games. Yeah, so you gotta so, build a bankroll to spend yeah, on I them. I get to buy once at one every maybe three or four months, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, but, and I said I've got that one stack of games everybody keeps trying to get off me for nothing. Like I'll put out my yard sale. They're like, oh, what do you want for these? I said the prices are on them. They're like, oh, I'll give you dollars. Like it's marked fifteen. Yeah. You know, it's like no, I know what you are. You're <laughs> yeah. A yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a market out there. It wasn't like I picked them up for 50 cents. I paid, and I'm not trying to get rich. I probably paid, you know, just a couple bucks or less. Yeah. It's really good common stuff that they bought from me, like, you know, Mario 3, Bionic Commando. Yeah. Yeah. That one's just like went from like three hundred to like nine hundred on all the on all the things. I'm like, why did it jump so much? Yeah, I don't have I don't think I have really anything in my collection that is of value. It's yeah. it's I'm still like I used to have all the good GameCube games, like yeah. I even have like just the cases of some, I don't know what happened at all, but yeah. like I have I got a Zelda collector's case that might work the game though. Yeah. And a long time ago. So I'm hoping I find it, but I probably like demoed it and then like sold the system and forgot to take the game out. Yep, exactly what happens. Like, well, the cases still work a little bit, you know. But. Yeah, so some of those cases are worth selling, but I just keep holding on to them, thinking I'm gonna find the game only at a garage sale, yeah. and I can complete it myself. So I hold on to it. I did that once. I found a. a Spindle. Oh, wow. And it was that. And uh, like two days later, the game shop in Florida where I was stationed, they're like, oh, we have the case with the CD, but we don't have the game. Yeah. Like the day, like the next <laughs> day. And I'm like, I bet you this is freaking it. You know? Yeah, probably. It What's up, everybody? Good morning. It's Sunday. We went to garage selling, as y'all just saw. Got a lot of good footage there. It was a quick, short day. As I mentioned before, we were working with an $80 bankroll. So we were a little bit picky in the beginning until we went to this estate sale, as y'all saw, and we got a bulk of our purchases all in one place. Now, before we jump into going over what we bought today or yesterday at the garage sales, I do want to go over one sale that happened overnight. So I'll link it up here. But if you remember the video where we found all those, that binder of basketball cards, and there was a big stack of Michael Jordan cards, well, some of them I do have on a lot up on eBay, but I did find this one card at the King of the Courts by Tops. See if you can get a good look at that. This one I looked it up. I saw sold comps everywhere from $75 up to $180. So I put this one online for $150. It got a lot of watchers, a lot of viewers. Some people would send really low ball offers, but over the weekend, somebody sent an offer of $100. Now I could wait, I was asking 150, so of course I'm leaving about 33% off the table. But I said, you know what? Our bankroll got down to $80. We gotta start moving some sales through. So I accepted the offer of $100 for this item. If you remember, we paid $20 for an entire binder. So after fees, cost of goods, we're over about 65, 70 bucks on it. And that means anything else we sell out of that binder is 100% profit. All right, at the very first stop that y'all saw, 
the first things we actually purchased, we purchased that little wooden cash register with fake money in it and a baseball athletic bag. Those two were purchased for personal use. The money's gonna go to my sister for her school classroom. And then I play softball. So the bag was just two bucks and it's gonna be able to hold all of my equipment because right now I don't really have a bag for it. But here's what we got at that estate sale. I went through almost the whole thing, but when we went upstairs, I saw this container, if I can open it, marked for four bucks. That was my finger I just smashed. And the only thing, that, the thing that caught my eye, I just saw this little Pac-Man thing sticking out of here. And I looked through it, I saw these cartridges. So there's a whole bunch of cartridge games. It was the second day of the estate sale, so everything was 25% off. So I paid about 450 per game. Uh, this says basic computing language, wasn't really worth anything. But there's stuff like, uh, these are old Atari games. So I see this Sega Atari Star Trek game. Pac-Man here. So we found a whole bunch of these cartridges. I know looking at just the Star Trek and the Pac-Man, they were selling for about $50 combined. I'm about $40 in on this whole thing. I'm gonna keep the case and a couple games just for the personal game collection, because I have nothing Atari. But we can probably sell the rest of them for about $60, $70 after fees and everything. So we are gonna profit a little bit on here. I think we paid all in on everything we bought there. I think we're about $60, $62 in there. So we should be able to make all the money back on just the Atari stuff, maybe be short a little bit. But we also got, which I thought was really cool, I saw this uh, super super disk drive, and I didn't know what it was, so I looked it up, and it's actually for the old Macintosh Apple computers, one of the originals, and this is actually a disk drive for that, and it has the additional cartridge in here. When I looked them up with the cartridge, these were selling for about $50 free shipping on eBay. So we paid six after the 25% off, it's gonna turn into 50. So after shipping and fees, I would expect us to pay anywhere from or anywhere from 25 to 35 dollars in profits on that the next thing i got there at the estate sale i saw these disney growing up healthy books see if you can see those there's our illnesses how we behave what goes on inside us avoiding sickness and accidents so i got these five little books and when you go through them they're actually really cool they're just all these different little lessons in a disney aspect and i looked these up and I saw two packs going for about $15, $16. So I'm pretty confident that we can list this for $50 and sell it for $50. Uh, she charged me $6 for all of it. So $6 after the 25%, we're paying about $4.50 as well. So that was it from the estate sale. And then I went to one more place and I found what I always pick up. We've talked about it before, but Levi jeans. We got two pairs of the 501 button fly jeans. Button fly jeans are pretty popular as far as current day Levi's go. So I paid four bucks for these. They are both different sizes. One is a 38 by 30 and one was a 36 by 29. So they were the same, I'd bundle them. But they're not, but I'm gonna sell them separate, $2 each. I think I can sell them for about $25 free shipping or I can even charge about $20 plus shipping. Either way, we're gonna turn these $2 into about $15 in profit each. All right guys, so that's all we put purchased. Like I said, we had a small bankroll. We're gonna be super picky. So not very much to do this week. That means we're gonna really get to attack our death pile. Right now we're up to about 165 items in the store now. 180 if you count the multi listings. So we're getting closer and closer to that 200 mark. Another special surprise guys, I am taking a week off. So I'll be going to Vegas for a couple days. But after that, I'm gonna have maybe six, seven days off just to focus on this and experiment with how much we can get done if we were a full-time reseller and how much more money that translates into guys. But that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed the content, you guys wanna see what else we purchased along the way and learn more about reselling, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you have, go ahead and help support this channel even further by hitting that like button. That tells YouTube to push it out to more people, gives us more exposure, helps the channel grow. But other than that guys, thank you guys for watching. This is Coast Corner, peace and love.